Hi guys, this is LOC645 coming today with a Busby Air Warriors modification. This is the Walking Dead uh, double barrel shotgun here. This is called the Double Shot Shotgun. This is from the Walking Dead TV comic book series. And uh, this is Rick's Shotgun. So we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to modify it correctly so you can get a lot of power out of this gun. Right now, it's not shooting too well because when you it's got a cocking or a priming string on the gun that primes the gun. When you prime it, it doesn't prime all the way correctly. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to modify it so you can get a lot of power out of it and the gun will last a whole lot longer. So this is the this is the packaging here. As you can see, it's got Michonne on the packaging and it's supposed to be Rick's shotgun that's kind of funny it's all comic book packaging from the comic book and it's got Michonne on it and it's supposed to be Rick's shotgun so that's kind of weird but this is this is the uh, Air Warriors Busby Toys is the one that produces this and this is the remake of the double shot which is right here. This is the the original double shot. I've already modified these. I've already taken these apart and and put bigger springs in them. And and I'm going to be showing you guys what I did. I, I did the, the same thing I did to this. I'm going to be doing to this. And uh, these are different different Busby double barrels. This is the over and under custom made i got this on youtube uh, on uh, ebay right now for sale if you guys want to buy this one go to ebay and you could bid on it or you could buy it straight out but uh this is the uh the old style and uh i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it so uh this is the shorty i call this the shorty modified this this thing will shoot over 85 feet easily with no problem it's got the modified priming string or rope rope pr primer on it and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on this gun here which I've already did one last night which is uh, right here I've already modified this one I've already taken this one apart modified it with the rope with the rope string cocking or primer cocking or priming to get the gun so uh here we go. I've already taken the screws out of this, out of this here, so the video won't be as long. So uh, here we go. I'm going to show you the internals of this gun. This is the, uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to take out to get this gun out, to get the primer off. Uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, string. This is the plunger, which was stuck in there. This is the original plunger. This is the same plunger that is in the old double shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. And as you can see, there it is right there. I'm going to cut the string. This is the string. To cock this gun, you have to bend the barrel down, and the string pulls the, the plunger and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut the string with this pair of scissors. If you're going to do this modification, you're going to need an adult to help you cut the, the rope with some scissors because scissors are bad things for kids to be messing with. So there's the, there's the barrel. I'll take it off. Here's the string right here. And here's the plunger. This is the plunger that we're going to be working with, and the internals, as you can see, here's the internals. That's the trigger. That's the spring for the trigger. This piece right here, you're not going to need it. So just take it out of the gun, throw it away, or, or put it in your parts pile or whatever. You're not going to need it for this modification. There's a screw right here that holds the rope. You're going to want to take this off because you don't need this anymore. Just get you a very small Phillips head screwdriver. You don't want to use an electric drill on this because 
this is a plastic gun and the uh, you will over drill and it would strip the it would strip out the uh, the screws you don't want to you don't want to do that when you got to put it back together As you can see this is the old ring this is the o-ring for the uh, for the plunger here as you can see here this plunger they put o-rings on it to to block the air from escaping when it comes out of the plunger so what I'm going to show you guys how to modify this so you would get more air out of your gun. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take a drill, get it, like I said, get an adult to help you do this. Uh, take a drill. You're going to want to drill this out right here. Uh, get you a small enough drill bit that will fit in the hole here. And you're going to drill out the, the little restrictor here that's restricting the air. See how that was? How easy that is? And then you just uh, drill out the hole that's restricting the air. Make sure you keep these O-rings on here. Because we're going we're gonna to reuse these. See, there's the O-rings. We're going to sit that right here. And then the plunger, there's little bitty teeny weeny holes right here. Yes, I said bitty weeny teeny holes. Inside here, you're going to want to take your drill bit, and you're going to want to drill those holes a little bit bigger. You don't want to go in too far because you're going to hit the plunger. You just want to make the path a little bit bigger. That's all. See how I did that? If you can see the hole, they're a little bigger now. That way the air will come out a lot more. So I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to put this back on here. And then we're going to take the hot glue. And we're going to glue around this plunger here. To seal the air from escaping around those O-rings. So if you follow me over, over to the hot glue gun. We're going to show you guys how to hot glue this. This is your standard high temperature hot glue. You, you need to get an adult to help you do this because uh, this is very hot and it could burn you. So you will need an adult to help you do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it, put your plunger like, like I'm holding it right here. You want to put some pressure on this. So when you glue it, it, uh, it won't come out of the hole and uh, just be real careful because if it comes out of the hole you're going to get glue inside your plunger and it's not going to work correctly okay there you go see how I did that All right, there you go. See how I got the hot glue around the plunger here? That's going to prevent any air from escaping, and it's going to focus all the air to come out of your out of your tubes here. And on the safe side, they glue this from the factory. They put little dabs of glue around the plunger here to hold it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a bead of hot glue around the plunger so that way I, I know that it's fully secure from air leaks you just want to put a little bead of glue just like this around the plunger so that way uh, you know it's airtight and there you go it only takes about 10 minutes for the glue to dry and uh, once it dries, you can reinstall this back into your gun. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this hot glue because this is very hot. You don't want to touch this tip because you will get burned. So you need to get you an adult to help you do this modification. So we're going back over to the gun. 
And uh, these little tips right here, this is for the slider. This is what slides it. These little tips right here will come off, so you need to be careful with these tips. Because once they come off and you lose them, you're not going to be able to prime your gun back correctly. It's going to be all wiggly and waggly, and it's not going to work correctly. So you want to make sure that these little rolling pins, is what I call them, or spacers, are, are still attached when you go to put the gun back together. So before I put the gun back together, I'm going to take my drill bit... I'm going to get a little bit larger drill bit here, and I'm going to drill a hole on the plunger side of the gun, which is right here, and I'm going to drill a hole right here so the string or the rope can actually go through the gun. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth, because if you leave any sharp ridges on it, it will cut the rope and then you have to take it all back apart and get you another rope and see you want to make sure it's all nice and clean when we go to put it back together this is the spring here that goes on the on the lever that primes the gun you want to put that back on here just like so and it goes just like this right here it wraps around the plunge around the the cocking pin here and it goes right there on the pin itself just like that so that's how it works just like that right there and uh, you're going to want to take your once once this is dry this is pretty dry right now once it's dry, you can go ahead and put it back in, but first, I'm going to have to show you guys, on this right here, you're going to have to take your snips, and you're going to have to snip it right here in an angle, because of the plunger will not slide in there because of the glue. Let me get my snip, snips real quick, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, I got this cutting snips. Again, you need to get an adult to help you do this. You're going to want to take this here, put it right in the middle of the, of the prong, and clip it. Just like that. You want to do both sides. Once they're clipped, see how they are? That way the uh, glue that you've glued that you've glued onto your plunger will be able to countersink the, the plunger back in. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. This is very, very strong springs here so we're going to slide this back in here as you can see right here where it goes into the plunger and you want to make sure that the rolling pins or the spacer i call it a spacer or a rolling pin this actually rolls when you pull it back it fits in a groove there and uh as you can look down in there it fits in a little sliding groove and uh when it slides back it catches the groove and everything's good so I got that in there. We got the spring in there for the trigger. See the spring? Now we're going to put the trigger back in. The trigger countersinks in with the spring. So you want to make sure that the uh, that it goes in in the gun correctly just like that see how it went right in it's flush with the gun and it works with the like that right there on this uh this gun right here i didn't i did it on this one
But you can see right here underneath the spring, there's a little gap right here and a little thin wall of plastic that is holding the trigger here. Every time you pull down the trigger, that plastic flexes and it doesn't release the gun properly. So what you want to do is take some hot glue and you want to fill this area up right here with hot glue. You just want to fill it in with hot glue and uh, I already did this gun that way so it supports the, the mechanism a lot better. And when you go to pull the trigger, you got a nice clean trigger. Now I'm going to take the rope and I'm going to stick it in the hole here and uh, we're going to spring it out through the hole that I just drilled. Just like that right there. See how that is? That is called your rope modification priming or caulking. This is how you prime it or caulk it with that rope right there. I'm going to put the spring, the, the barrel release button back on. Okay, now we're ready to put the gun back together. And uh, for you guys that wants a short barrel, what you're going to have to do is you're going to take your saw, get you an adult or a grown-up that could cut this for you. You're going to cut it right across here, right in front of, this, of the screw. You don't want to go past the screw. You want to stay in front of it. You want to cut it about right here where, this, where the, as you can see, where the uh, screwdriver is. That's where you want to cut it because later on, you're going to, uh, I don't know how your state is, but in my state, I live in Georgia, and it's against the law to have toy guns with no orange tips on them. So you have to put the orange tip back onto the gun, or you can either paint it orange. What I do is I put the orange tips back on. See how that is? I take, I take the, the orange tip, and I cut it off, and I take my Dremel tool, and I get all the inside of it all cleaned up. And then I take it, and I put it right back on the gun, just like so. But we're going to go ahead and put this one back together. And we're going to have the long barrel version. So this is the long... Oh, the... Uh, before I put this back together, I want to show you guys something on the outside of this. You see this right here? This is a prevention tool that they put on the gun. So when you're cocking it with the rope, it doesn't break your gun. It, it catches the little trigger... And it stops you from bending the gun too far back for you br to break it. So what I'm going to do is take my snips and I'm going to take this out. Just like that. And you can throw this away. You will not need that. That is only for the, uh, the barrel here. See this little clip? That keeps it from breaking when you try to bend the gun to, to prime the gun on the original gun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the gun back together. If I'm going too fast for you guys, you can always slow the video down and, and reverse it and go back and, and see what I'm doing here. But uh, this, is, this, is, this is the finish. This is all finished now. The, what I did is I drilled out the hole to make it bigger on the primer. I hot glued it so none of the air will escape. And... That's all you need. You will get 80 feet of 80 to 85 feet out of this gun right here. This gun will last you a good long time now that you've done this prime, this this uh, modification. Now remember what I said is right here, uh, right here. You got to fill this up with hot glue. You're just gonna take some hot glue and you're gonna fill this area up with hot glue, so it it. The trigger supports the mechanism here for a lot better and easier uh, pull of the trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and put this gun back together. And uh, it's a little tricky on put, getting it back together. So don't be upset with it or anything like that. But uh, start by putting this, this piece right here into the hole first. And then you can uh, work, it, work it around until everything fits back in its place. This right here is the uh, the metal pin back here in the back is a little crooked every time. 
and uh, you got to take it and play with it to get it in place. If you don't get it in place, you have to take it all back apart like, I, like I'm doing now to, to uh, get it back in place. And uh, it's a little bit aggravating, but you can get someone to help you, get you an adult to help you if you, if you, uh, if you can't do it.